Hello and welcome to another episode of Jenny's Chateau Farm. Usually, winter is a time for hibernating, introspection, resting and even relaxing, ideally with a good book by a fire. Not so for me, at least not this year, because this winter for me has been a very productive winter full of long days and hard work. However, I am now very proud to be able to reveal to you the fruits of my labours and tell you the story of how over the past year or more we have turned this into this. The story begins back in October of 2020, when we first purchased the property. We bought it knowing that the attic space, although in urgent need of attention, held immense potential for our visions of holding residential retreats for music writing and recording, as well as for yoga, art and other activities. However, in order to get to that point, we knew there was some considerable amount of work to be done. To begin with, the roof had urgently to be completely replaced, and in that first winter, that was the top priority. The old tiles were long past their prime, leaving holes in the roof, leading to leaks, mould and water damage. With the area around the pediment on which Baku, the Roman god of wine, can be seen, being the worst affected. This pediment internally is a key part of the roof structure, and in fact all the joinery in the attic is quite spectacular. So it was urgent that we preserve it and make the roof good. Thankfully, we found Joe Milsom of JM Toiture, and in January of 2021, he completely replaced the roof, added skylights, Nantes style guttering, and importantly, fixed all the problems around the pediment. Now that the attic could finally dry out, work could begin on transforming the interior. First, Once the timbers had dried, Jason, our builder, treated them to kill off any woodworm or other pests. Then, false ceilings were removed, old cables had to be moved, and new electrics put in by our wonderful electricians, Rob and Helen Lee. However, this was 2021, and of course, what with delays in the supply chain, various restrictions, and our builder's injuries on another job, nothing went to plan that year, and it was not until December that the materials needed were finally delivered, and the railing, insulation and plasterboarding could finally begin. With the total footprint of the attic being over 200 metres squared, there were lots of surfaces to cover, but the largest room by far measuring about 6 metres by 10 metres, also contains the complex roof structure under the pediment and will be our multi-purpose live room, yoga and workshop space. I can't imagine how fiddly it must have been to plaster the ceiling around those beams, but Jason and his team got there and their hard work was well worth it. So it's been a, a difficult job, all the old wood needs to be on show, so all the cutting, there's no right angles, but it's a very rewarding job. The ceiling has taken time, but it's, it's to me it's going to look beautiful once it's been painted and Jenny has oiled all the beams. By the autumn of 2022, the plaster work was all finally finished and it was time to get painting. This is where my work this winter began. 
first I had to hoover an immense amount of dust and dirt from the beams. Then paint the walls with three coats of paint. With some much appreciated help from Jason to reach the tricky ceilings. And then finally paint the floors again with three coats of paint. After a year of delays getting all this building work done for the walls, the ceiling, the insulation, the interior doors, windows, everything, and months of painting and preparation and cutting in and tidying up and retouching and painting the floor, etc. This room and most of the attic is now finally ready for the fun part to begin. We get to dress this room, get to put all the doors back on and finally start to see the full potential of how we can play with this wonderful, versatile space. There's still a couple of things left to do. Let's not worry about that for now. The skirting boards need to be done. They are on order. They will arrive when they arrive. And the light fittings and sockets need their little covers on. Again, they have been ordered and they will arrive and we can just slot them into place when they get here. But for now, let's do the fun stuff. It's still only January, but we are now making plans for our residential retreats for the year ahead. Watch this space for more details coming soon. In the meantime, if you are an artist or a yoga teacher who would like to work with us, be sure to contact us using the email address below. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here and have not yet subscribed, please do so to keep up to date with the rest of the renovations and our plans for the year ahead. Until next week, bye for now.